Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you all those little chores and jobs around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what we're going to do is we're, we're in the middle of a, of a mudding project, mudding, drywall mudding, and I'm going to show you how to actually put the mud back into the bucket the right way and make sure that uh, your mud for the future is going to be pretty good. So what we're going to do is, is, is I'm going to push this down like this and that's the mud. Now I use a five gallon bucket all right, because I do a lot of drywalling. So what we're, what we're going to do here is I've got my, the mud that I've been using for the project I've been on and I'm going to take each one of the knives in fact, in this particular case, I've, I've been using a corner knife. So I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to go like this, and just take the mud off of the knife and do just like what everybody else does. Just scrape it on the inside of the bucket. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Take that off. Put this aside. And now I'm going to take this knife here. I'm going to do the same thing. What I'm doing is I'm taking care of things here. All right, now let's take care of this. We've got all of this mud that's in the bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this mud out and put it back in the one or five gallon bucket or your container that you're going to use. And There. All right. Now, does that mean that that's done? No. We're not even close to being done. All right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to show the proper way of taking care of this because right now you've got all of this mud that's on the side here, and it, what tends to happen is it dries, and then those little chunks, once they dry, they fall into the mud, and then when you're trying to use the the mud again. It tends to be like a little stone in there and then you're going to get lines in your mud when you want a nice smooth finish. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to turn it sideways and just go along the edge like this. All right. All right. Put it all on one side. Say I've got a big glob that's over here. Let's consolidate all of that. All right. And then we're going to go like this. I'm going to take this and put it in here. Put it back in the, bu in the bucket. Or if you want to, you can throw it away. If it's got a lot of little stones in it, throw it away. Stones meaning this has got dried chunks on there. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take another knife and I'm going to take that off. It comes off pretty easy. And this washes up with soap and water. All these do is wash up very nicely with soap and water. All right, now, I've got some drying residue on the side here. What do I do with that? Get off as much as you can with the knife. All right? Then take your rag. Go along the side. It's a wet rag. You've been using it before. Be fussy with it because this is stuff that you paid for and you want it to last. You don't buy stuff from the store so you can throw it away. All right? And once it's once it is all cleaned up, then you can put the top on it and you'll be fine. So most of the stuff is off. Go right down as close to the mud as you can and get it all off. Make it look nice. So when the next time you open it up, it's nice. It's clean in there and you're and you're happy you're happy to get into it. So that that works out pretty well then. So That's kind of how you do it, and it, it's, 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 I know that it sounds pretty basic, but if I didn't show you how to do it, you probably would have left those gobs on the side, and then the next time you open this up to use it, you're going to find all crusty stuff, and then you're going to end up taking off the surface of the, the mud that where all the chips and garbage and dried stuff fell into, and then you're going to end up throwing a lot of it away. And you really don't need to do that because, like I just said, 
You don't buy stuff from the store to use and then throw it away. So if you're going to get it, get the nice stuff, take care of it so you can use it next time. Just remember, just the same as we did with the paint can. When you're done with the paint, clean it up real nice, put the top back on it. Okay? It works out pretty good. Please subscribe to this channel. Please, 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 if you really like what you're hearing. And if you've got any suggestions for me, um, put them down in the comments. Um, I know there's a, a, some sort of a button down there. If you go ahead and hit that, that would be great. And, and then this way, the next video that comes up, you can see what I'm going to say next. And that would, be, that would be great. And I'll see you on the next video.